You know, most car enthusiasts love cars for lots of reasons, one of which is they actually love to drive them. But there's one type of car that enthralls enthusiasts who seldom ever get to drive them, but they do get to ride in them. As FYI reporter Jennifer Kaznavis recently discovered, there's a large population of limousine lovers out there. And once a year, they all come together, along with a little gambling glitz and glamour, for one amazing car show. If you come to Atlantic City, chances are you're hoping to hit it big at the casino. And if you do, you're an instant high roller. So you have to arrive in style anywhere you go. And the best way to show off your newfound fortune is to show up in a limo. Whether you double down, pull the one-armed bandit, or spin the wheel, jackpot hopefuls have a chance to walk away a millionaire. Four high, four high, 22. And fortune plus glamour equals none other than a limousine. And here at the Trump Taj Mahal during the first week in November every year, you don't even have to leave the hotel to pick up your chariot. The Limo Digest puts on this elaborate limousine show. The public can expect to see the latest styles, the 2001 styles, which, are, which have just been released. Uh, this is the first time anybody will be able to see them. The latest, the most wildest interiors you could possibly imagine. And some of the wildest people were here too. Limousines come in all shapes and sizes. We have Ferrari, Testarossa limos, regular stretches all the way on up to 36 passengers in limousines. You know, so the sky is the limit. With all the wild interiors and unusual models, it's no wonder people love being chauffeured around. There's just something about a night out in a limo. I go in a limousine and, and I feel special. I feel like I'm being driven around. It's, it's great to have a chauffeur to the park, James. Broken into two sections, the show took over the Taj. Inside, you could see the more classic cars. Outside is where to find the most unique and exotic exteriors and models of the newest limousines. Models like the PT Cruiser, the Range Rover, and this 30-passenger excursion limo attracted a lot of attention. Luxury brands were not excluded. A stylish Jaguar or BMW X5 definitely makes a good impression. The inside section has standard exterior limos, but remember the old saying, don't judge a book by its cover. That's, uh, that's part of our draw. We like to, uh, the, the limousine industry is a showboating industry, um, and everybody is uh, showing their colors and their, uh, their limos, their new colors, their new interiors, and a lot of people will be able to view them outside as well as inside. The industry itself really is uh, its a maturing industry. Um, it's typically for the upper echelon, uh, but today uh, smaller operators are, are really making their way into the, uh, the consumer base um, for, of course, weddings. Everyone's always has weddings, but uh, a lot of people like, like a day out, like a, ni a night out on the town, and, and that's what the limousine industry is here for. Way back years ago, like 30 years when I started, it was limousines were just for the rich and famous. And then as time went on, limousines became used as much as a taxi cab would be. You know, and the size of limousines in the 80s is when it grew to the sky was the limits with 65 footers and the biggest limousines around. And now the hottest craze is the SUVs. We build the SUVs for Escalades, Navigators, Expeditions. And whichever way you choose to go, you will always make a bold statement. And speaking of statements, it seems that Limo Bob has a story as to where he accumulated all of his jewelry. Because I own the world's longest, the most exotic limousines, you know, as time went on, I started driving some very famous customers. Mike Tyson gave me a full-length fur coat. You know, Bob Hope, all the, all the stars and celebrities. And they've given me this as pieces over the years. And just as a gift, you know, for their box and gloves, the fur coats, and the gold. And it just became a trademark, my signature. They are the most exotic cars in the world that are brought here to our show. It gets a lot of attention. You get stopped everywhere. You get star treatment all the time with these limousines. It draws such an attention. And for the industry people, attracting attention means attracting business. Everyone here took advantage of chances to advertise. For more information.